All right, you're, you ready? You're gonna, you're gonna take me through a, an exercise now, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, um, not that I think you're an adolescent, but this is one of the ones that I love to do with Very my well. adolescents. So I have given Craig two of those little mini like Hershey's. Shout out to Hershey's, although I'm a Mars person. Uh, chocolate bars. So Craig, remember that the point of this exercise is to notice and observe. So the first thing that I want you to do is I'm going to ask you to unwrap that little candy bar. No. Okay. Am, am I putting these on yet? What am I doing with it? No. Okay. You're going to tell me when to put these on? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So I'll, let me just follow. I'll, I'm going to now follow instructions. Why do you got to be a Why do you got to be a problem child? What am I doing Are you now? getting anxious? So I'm going to walk you through the whole thing so you have the sense. First time I want you to put that in your mouth and I just want you to chew it up. Chew it up super fast. But I want you to notice. Wait, would you slow down? <laughs> You're gonna give me all the directions. Listen, no, but no, listen is... to the instructions real quick. I want you to notice as you're chewing on this, what's happening in your body, what's happening in your brain. So what's your brain telling you and talking to you, and what's happening in your body and your feelings as you eat that chocolate bar. Okay, so now you can put your little headphones on. So he can't hear when I'm talking about him. So interestingly, he just closed his eyes, which says to me he's trying to concentrate really hard on what's happening, which is good. But sometimes we're not all afforded the luxury of being able to close our eyes. So do not automatically assume that mindfulness always has to be eyes closed, centered kind of behavior. His skin tone is actually changing a little bit, which is interesting. Okay, take them off. Take your headphones off. Okay, what'd you notice? I noticed that it wasn't so much that the candy bar disintegrated when I chewed it. It, it, it kind of burst. Mm -hmm. And I, I felt like there was this explosion that went to different corners of my mouth. And, and Did then... Did you just say there was an explosion in your mouth? Yes. <sighs> oh, so many jokes. Okay, yeah. this um, second time... Oh, did, oh, sorry, keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then... Um, and then I, I really was trying to like grab all those little pieces of chocolate and bring them back to my tongue so I could taste them. I didn't want to waste anything. Okay, what were some of your thoughts? Do you have any, were you thinking anything as you're chewing that down? No, <laughs> I really was thinking about the chocolate. Okay. This second time, I want you to put the little chocolate bar in your mouth, but this time you are not allowed to chew it. You okay. just have to leave it in your mouth and allow it to melt. You can sort of suck on it. But I really want you to, again, pay attention now, thoughts, body sensation, feelings, and if there's a difference between the two for you. Okay. Headphones are going on. Headphones are going on. And the chocolate bar is going down. So again, for those of you who can't see, he immediately closed his eyes, which was interesting. When I do this with adolescents in particular, a lot of times they will end up getting very frustrated because if it's something that they like, like most times students like chocolate and in our offices we have these like candy drawers so they're full of all different types of candy. Most of the times people just want to eat it. They just want to put it in their mouth. So they get super frustrated with having to just sit there. But it's something that I want them to pay attention to because it's okay to get annoyed or frustrated. It's okay to want to do something different than what we've been given a direction to or what maybe is the right thing or good for us in that moment. But we need to notice that I'm annoyed or frustrated and then what do I want to do with that emotion? Do I want to just go ahead and act and, and chew up the chocolate in spite of the direction? Or am I going to try to power through? What are the skills that I put in place instead of? It takes longer. Um, sometimes students begin to get impatient because it's taking a lot longer and they think it's weird because we're just sitting in silence sucking on a piece of chocolate. So there's a lot of different emotions that can potentially come up and then some really judgmental thoughts about what's happening. And so it's that shift between instant gratification, most times people like to just come in and like chew it up, versus delayed gratification, versus having to wait, versus having to use patience or restraint and how that just feels differently in our bodies. But again, not bad. We don't need to judge those as being negative. Headphones off, brother. What'd you notice? That was really annoying. 
Yay! That was so funny. That was one of the things that I was talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I'm glad you noticed. Here's the interesting thing. Okay, a little backstory about my family. Okay. The, my 12-year-old son, Gabe, who has ADHD, he and I <clears throat> are the slow eaters. Oh, he's he, When we go out for ice cream, he and I will lick the cones to the bottom. The other three, including my wife, they chew their ice cream and gulp it down, and they're done in a fraction of the time. So when I when I eat these chocolates and I eat them, I eat it like the way the second way. I put it and I do not chew it, but then I go into flow, and I don't think about it. I just have the flavor. But now since I had to be yes. really focused on it. And thinking about it, it sucked. This is so great. So this is such a great thing. So now you get what I'm talking about, about the difference between flow and mindfulness. Because mindfulness is I am present and I notice. And what's funny is what did you want to do with that annoyance? I wanted to chew down and I wanted to get it over with. So how did you go, though? Because a lot of times, so then annoyance, irritability, the action urge would then be to do something with that, to chew up the chocolate or to get right. away from the person or to stop doing the homework that's frustrating us. How did you, what thoughtfulness did you have to bring to I keep going? Even though this is annoying to me, I stick with it. Well, I was really determined. I was not going to mm-hmm. give in. I was going to I was gonna see this through. It was kind of like being on the treadmill. I'm not going to slow down until I hit five miles or seven miles or whatever. Did you validate for yourself <laughs> that it was okay to be annoyed? Did you stay in a non-judgmental space? Um, well. Like, did you start to judge me or judge the exercise? No, no. No? No, I judge you for other reasons. Oh, well, yeah, um, true. <laughs> I, but I did make the connection during the exercise to how I, that I, I noticed that this is how I normally eat the chocolate, but it doesn't annoy me like it does now. And I was thinking about eating the chocolate while I'm working and I'm, when I'm in flow. And that, so I, I was thinking about the difference, how it mm-hmm. in, uh, in, in this other situation, it's not nearly as annoying.